Hi guys, back again with another set of video and today we're in Mexico. This is a track which in real life offers up a different challenge to the teams due to its extreme altitude. However, we don't need to worry about that in F1 2020 so we can approach it normally. It's a track which for the first half is comprised of long straights and 90 degree turns while the second half is a mixture of fast sweeping corners and a slow stadium section. As with all of our setups, this is a race setup designed for 50% races or longer and it can be used in league racing. If you like this setup give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more f1 2020 content so jumping straight into the setup itself because mexico has three distinctly different sectors any setup is going to be a compromise we've gone the route of ensuring the rear of the car remains stable ensuring we can get the power down easily implement this approach with a 4-7 wing setup you can run one point lower on both front and rear wings to maximize straight line speed however you won't be as fast through any of the corners so your on throttle diff to 50% and off throttle to 62%. This goes to helping you get the best traction out of every corner, which is especially important to get a good run out of the last corner and onto the long hit straight. Next, set your camber to minus 2.6 and minus 1.1 and your toe to 0.05 and 0.2. This is the best way to set up your car to ensure it remains stable throughout the whole lap. And this comes in handy through the fast middle sector, ensuring you can keep your foot planted through the S's. The best way to minimise your lap time through the first sector is to ride over the kerbs as much as you can get away with. Set up your car to handle these bumps by going for a 1-5 suspension setup. Then go for a 3-9 anti-roll bar setup. Finally, a 2-4 ride height will help maximise your top speed potential. Go on to set your brakes to 95% pressure and 50% bias. This is a common theme throughout a lot of our setups, but that is because it remains one of the quickest and most stable ways to set up your brakes. Finally, when your tyre pressure is low at 21.8 at the front, and 19.5 at the rear. This just ensures that you don't run into any temperature issues which can be a problem around this track. It will also help you get the traction down out of the slower corners. And that will do it for our Mexican race setup. This out will allow you to be extremely fast throughout a lap of Mexico while remaining stable through the faster corners. If it helps you out, pop this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you fancy chatting with our growing community, why not join us on Discord and say hi. I'll leave this video with a little bit of racing and until next time, see you on track. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. Albans in first place. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down.
In this lap, in this lap, push now. Expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. 